friends welcome back in this session we are going to understand what a pixel is first and then i am going to explain what are all the types of images this is a very important fundamental session so i request you to pay attention what is a pixel a pixel is the fundamental component of any image but before that an image is nothing but an array or matrix of multiple pixels it is like multiple pixels come together to form an image an image has got multiple pixels and pixel is the fundamental component of an image now i have taken a picture here which has got lot of trees and greeneries here this is all composed of pixels when i extract just the pixels out of it by zooming it further you can see that all these dots are all pixels i have highlighted few pixels for your reference so a pixel is the smallest unit in the digital image multiple pixels are arranged in a matrix format and they actually form an image an image is fully composed of pixels so please remember pixel is the most fundamental unit of any image now let us understand type of images there are multiple image types available and there is a standard confusion that is prevailing among the beginners to classify uh, which particular image is of what type so i am going to clarify it very clearly i request your attention first one is binary image what is binary binary is all about zeros and ones a binary will contain only two colors one color is black another color is white always black is represented with zero white is represented with one each pixel of this type of image will be either of the two which means it can be black or white which is zero or one now the picture is represented here and this is called as binary image it can be black or white which is zero or one and one very important point that you should remember is in the binary image each pixel will need only one bit for the storage which means i can store one pixel in one bit be it white or black i don't care i'll have one bit storage required for it and this is the most fundamental aspect of understanding what a binary image is very simple binary has got only two it is zero and one zero is black one is white it can be either of the two but not both of the two they need one bit storage space that is it this is called a binary image binary image will not be clear for you to understand what the image tries to convey so what is the best option i am going to talk to you about black and white image the black and white image is always confused with binary image and the confusion should not be there anymore from here there is a fundamental difference between these two when it comes to black and white each pixel would need 8 bit storage space this is the best difference that i can spot earlier we needed only 1 bit per pixel now we need 8 bit per pixel and each of this pixel again could be only 0 or 1 again 0 is black 1 is white multiple zeros and ones will come together to get a image formed all these pixels will need 8 bit storage space since it is 8 bit storage space the image would need much more storage space for it to be stored so this will give enriched quality in the image also as you can expect this needs more storage space in the disk also if the uh, binary image needs say 1 kb this this black and white image would need maybe around 100 kbs that's the only difference that you need to understand it is 8 bit for a pixel there in binary it is just 1 bit per pixel this is a fundamental but a phenomenal difference that you should highlight without fail in any interviews the next one is gray scale it is a very special type of image and again gray scale is confused with black and white it is not black and white but it has black and white i re say gray scale is not black and white but it has the black and white shades people often regard it as a no color shade no color image please remember this is of no color now this most commonly the most commonly used format is 8 bit format in this and it accommodates 256 different shades what do you mean by that the range of the pixel shade varies from 0 to 255 0 is pure black 255 is pure white and from 0 to 255 it keeps varying and then that will all be referred as the shades i'm going to show you the example now this is the matrix that we are talking about all the boxes 
or having the shades of black or white the pure black starts with zero it keeps increasing here and you can see that the dominance of white comes all over here and it's in it ends with 255 this is called the grayscale image all these are referred as shades the shades range starts with zero and it ends with 255 Please remember, shades make grayscale image. The spelling of grayscale is also mostly mistaken at many places. This is the most frequently used spelling, though people use E as well. You can use this for a better and enriched understanding with the reader or the receiver whom you are talking to. Now, I have got an image here. This is a perfect grayscale image, which has got only the shades, which starts from zero and it ends with 255, which means it starts with pure black and ends with pure white. It, it is the combination of all the shades together. And that's what is called as a grayscale image. Please remember and don't forget, this is a very, very important question. What is the difference between a binary followed by black and white followed by grayscale? These three may look similar, but they are never similar. Now the next one is very very important what is a color image each pixel in the color image will have some color information that's the only difference each pixel in the color image will have some color information remember it now each pixel will be composed of three different channels the channels are nothing but r g and b r is red g is green b is blue that's it each pixel is composed of three channels and three channels represent the fundamental colors R, G and B. Now, there is another very important point that you need to understand. Each of these channels, R, need eight, R needs eight bits, green needs eight bits, blue needs eight bits. So what is the total for a pixel? Per pixel, we need R, G and B. Each of them has R, eight bit, G, eight bit, B, eight bit. So three into eight is 24. So per bit you need, per pixel, you need 24 bits of storage and RGB together constitutes a color image. So color image will be heavy, which means it needs more storage space because each pixel has got R combination, G combination and blue combination. Each of them needs eight bits. Each pixel is very heavy. It is 24 bits. Now you can see that I have taken a sample image here and I have retrieved, retrieved the R green i mean the uh, g and blue out of it so each image is only composed of r g b pixels this is a very important point it needs 24 bits per pixel hence for a bigger image it would need a better space when you compare it with any of the three mechanisms that we have seen earlier the differences of are the differences between the uh, binary uh, black and white grayscale and color image has been explained very clearly and in the next session we will go to the application sectors of image processing with clear examples followed by more technical details to come thank you very much for following my channel in case you have any query suggestion inputs please go ahead and type it in the comment section i thank you for your support thank you all